Proverbs 30 at ASB, February 28, 2023. The words of Agur, son of Jake, Jake, Hake, the oracle. The man declares to Ithiel, to Ithiel and Ukal, Surely I am more stupid than any man, and I do not have the understanding of a man. Neither have I learned wisdom, nor do I have the knowledge of the Holy One. Who has ascended into heaven and descended? Who's gathered the wind in his fist? Who's wrapped all the waters in his garment? Who's established the ends of the earth? What is his name or his son's name? Surely you know. Every word of God is tested. He's a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words or he will reprove, reprove you and you will be proved a liar. Two things I ask of you. Do not refuse me before I die. Keep deception and lies far from me and give, neither, give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is my portion. That I not be full and deny you and say, who is the Lord? Or that I might not be in wanton steel and profane the name of God. Do not slander a slave to his master, or he will curse you and you will be found guilty. There's a kind of man who curses his father and does not bless his mother. There's a kind who is pure in his own eyes, yet is not washed from his filthiness. There's a kind, oh, how lofty are his eyes, and his eyelids are raised in arrogance. There's a kind of man whose teeth are like swords, and his jaw teeth are like knives, to devour the afflicted from the earth and the needy from the among, among men. The leech has two daughters, give and give. There are three things that will not be satisfied, four that will not say enough. Sheol and the barren womb, earth that is never satisfied with water, and fire that never says enough. The eye that mocks a father and scorns a mother, the ravens of the valley will pick it out, and the young eagles will eat it. There are three things which are too young, wonderful for me, four which I do not understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a serpent on a rock, the way of a ship in the middle of a sea, and the way that a man loves a woman, the way of a man with a maid. This is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done no wrong. Under three things the earth quakes, and under four it cannot bear up. Under a slave when he becomes king, and a fool when he's satisfied with food. Under an unloved woman when she, when she gets a husband, and a maid servant when she supplants her mistress. Four things are small on the earth, but they're exceedingly wise. The ants are not a strong people, but they prepare food in the summer. The Shephanim are not mighty people, yet they make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet all of them go out in ranks. The lizards you may grasp in the hands, yet it's in king's palaces. There are three things which are stately in their march, even four which are stately when they walk. The lion, which is mighty among the beasts and does not retreat before any. The strutting rooster, the male goat also, and a king when his army is with him. If you've been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you've plotted evil, put your hand on your mouth. For the churning of milk produces butter, and the pressing of the nose brings forth blood. So the churning of anger produces strife. Man, it's a good one. I, I like Proverbs 30 a lot, actually, and I have claimed it many times. Not, uh, not the flattering parts, but verse 2 and 3. Surely I'm more stupid than any man. And I do not have the understanding of a man, neither have I learned the wisdom, nor do I have the knowledge of the Holy One. Man, I'm trying, but some days it's just like, whew, cheetah, dumb, being dumb, bro. Um, I like all of these, like, last requests of him, you know? It, it, there's, there's requests to live, and then there's, like, request for fulfillment so you know give me these before i die um keep deception and lies far from me don't give me too much or too little and like we said in the last chapter too little you might sin you know what i mean like stealing is stealing even if it's justified stealing it might be forgiven it might be pardoned you know what i mean but like even here we talk about like don't give me too much money because then i'll just be like i did this i got this money i did this or you know, I have so little that I'm stealing to get by, and it's like, not who is the Lord, but almost like, where is the Lord? Um, I just describe haughty people, you know, things like that. 
I do like the some of the observations on um, like the animals, you know, hyraxes or, or sheep like live way in the hills. They're not mighty, but their houses are almost inaccessible. You know, locusts have no king, but they they march in rank. They all go out together. And lizards, you know what I mean? Like you can find them everywhere. You can catch them, but they can even infiltrate a king's palace. So very cool. I think these are all very cool. The last, the way that this ends, for the churning of milk produces butter. Churning is not like stirring. Churning, if you've ever seen a butter churner, it's causing like friction, you know, from this this plunger going up and down and the milk rushing, you know, either side of it and the little vortices because of, of the container, you know, it's like this and like that. So as it goes back, it creates vortices in here and then that force of motion coagulates the the fats into butter it is not a gentle process another way they used to do it is they would put the milk in goat skins skins just beat it it would beat up this goat skin and then eventually the same thing would happen and that's that's the process they're talking about here the butter churning is like you know victorian invention maybe a little earlier but goat skins and just beat the heck out of it definitely the other way the the more classic way but pressing in the nose brings forth blood you know and churning of milk pressing the nose so the churning of anger produces strife as part of what i was going through this morning i said this in the last video but i'm recording directly after it's i got a really upsetting message and it wasn't a personal attack it was just poor business decisions and something i'm involved in and um I did call my counterpart in the company and we talked, but we both are pretty good about throttling each other back once we vent a bit. So it's the same thing. The churning of anger produces strife. I could have worked him up, let him work me up. We could have called and gave, you know, the first guy the third degree, but um, not worth it. Don't need the strife and it's not going to be conducive to business, friendship, or other. So... Let's see if there's anything else I'd like to say here. Now, I guess that's it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and record Proverbs 31. I better start uploading these or we're not going to see them today. <laughs>